Uh, so here we are in the city. We're going to be talking to people about the dog meat trade. The only exception is we're not actually talking about the practices in the dog meat trade. We'll be talking about UK pork industry practices. And we're going to see if we put a dog in place of the pig, whether they actually oppose the meat industry. Let's do it. Okay, okay. He's a real so animal you're an animal lover? Yeah. Okay, well, is anyone here a vegetarian before we start? No. Okay, okay, cool. So I'm going to tell you some practices that happen in the dog meat trade. I want to get your responses, like your reactions mm -hmm. to it. So what they do is they take like a male dog and they like, uh, they take the dog's semen and they inject it forcibly into like a female dog mm -hmm. so that she produces puppies. Then they keep them in these crates while they're their puppies are feeding from them and now the puppies all around them sometimes they can like crush their own puppies and they bite to get out of this cage and it's really cruel and then they'll get the puppies and they'll snip their tails off and their teeth without anesthetic and they'll cut their testicles out it's really horrible because they don't want them breeding the dog meat farmer might smack the puppies heads on the ground if they're not growing fast enough so blunt force trauma oh sometimes a dog will want to come out of the cage and like would be biting at the cage going a bit mad and then they'll send these puppies off to be fattened for their flesh to stun them, they stun them in this big gas chamber thing. They put them in a cage and drop them down into CO2 gas and they scream and thrash and really horrible, stab them in the throat afterwards, drain them of blood and turn them into like meat patties or little dog bacon and stuff like that. So what do you think of that? Um, That's disgusting. That's it's disgusting. not on. No. <laughs> it's really not good. Bad. It shouldn't be happening. It's bad. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Why do they make dogs just to kill them? Yeah, they're breeding them oh. for the purpose of eating them. Oh. So what do you think about that? Do you would I you? It's disgusting. Yeah. Well, if I just Harry would even eat yeah. cow or anything yeah. anywhere, yeah. so okay. I wouldn't. It's yeah, just it's Thailand, disgusting. They um, kidnap loads of like street dogs and yeah. then they like send them to Burma to get eaten all yeah. at China. It's horrible. Yeah, it's both got dogs. You both got dogs. Yeah. Okay, so you wouldn't want that to happen to your dog. No, that's terrifying. Wait, where do they do like what? Who's selling that then? Just people who well, so people who consume dog flesh are paying for these practices to happen. Oh right, it's just like people are like want dog and stuff. Yeah, they just want it like a, a dog meat sandwich or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's and the gas chambers they like burn the dog's eyes and yeah, mouth. Yeah. And so it's not like even like a just like swift kill. They're just like it's basically torture pretty much. Well, some of them are actually electrically stunned and stabbed in the throat. So oh, fuck yeah, that's it's fucked. You wouldn't eat dog meat. Probably not, no. Yeah. The people who are funding this, like, to eat the dog meat, would you say they're responsible for this? And do you think it's, like, bad to support something like that? Yeah. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. 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 I was a prison. That's disgusting. Yeah. 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 You need to see the company as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. You shouldn't be allowed. Yeah. So if someone were to buy the dog meat, and if you knew about the industry... If you, yeah, if you know yeah. what's happening, then it's 100% yeah. on you. You'd say, like, no, nah, stop buying the dog meat, eh? Yeah, yeah 100%. Yeah. yeah. I think... I don't know. I feel like some of them wouldn't know. Because yeah. the way we buy like chicken, for example, mm -hmm. I don't know where it's come from or okay. what the, like the process that I've got in it. Okay. So I think some people might not know. No, no, no. So if you don't know, but if you, when you yeah. do know, then you yeah. should like, like not buy it. Like, eh? Not buy it, obviously, because yeah. it's disgusting. Oh, I wouldn't be polite about it. No, no. no. <laughs> it wouldn't be polite. You'd be unapologetic. <laughs> exactly. yeah. If you knew what was happening as well, and then they carried on doing it anyway, there's no excuse really. So. Yeah, because dogs are like sentient beings. They feel pain. They don't want to die. They're intelligent. You know. What if someone said, "Well, we need dogs for protein and all of that"? There's, there's sure. other meat available. There's other meat available. And that are kept in good there conditions. There should be a law against that. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Yeah. No. It's still not quite right, is it? You can find something else to eat. Yeah. Yeah, get protein from I somewhere know, else. I know, this is going. Yeah, me too. I, I am vegetarian. Oh, you are? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're all vegetarian? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I completely agree with what you're saying. Yeah. Okay, TT, I want to tell you that everything I told you just then doesn't happen to dogs. It actually happens to pigs in the UK. Oh, shit. Well, you call me out there, haven't you? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's bad, but I don't know. Well, I don't really, I don't really like pork. Pigs in the UK. Yeah. So like the normal like pork we get from the shops, this yeah. is what happens to them. Yeah. Oh, is yeah. it like illegal? No, these are legal practices in the UK. Sometimes also what they do to to piglets that aren't growing fast enough is they grab them by the hind legs and hit their head on the ground like blunt force trauma. Yeah, it's just. Okay, yeah, well, so, uh, that's one of the reasons I became a vegetarian. Yeah. I watched a documentary, I think it was a Cowspiracy or something, I watched it on Netflix. And, <laughs> oh, so what yeah. you just described was yeah, how the pigs... It's yeah, actually well, standard yeah. practice for, for piglets, no, pigs yeah, and piglets yeah, and mother, yeah. mother sows, and 86% of pigs in the England and Wales are actually killed in the gas chambers, it's not really dogs. So is this like a thing to stop it? So basically we're, we're talking about like people support, uh, funding an industry that harms animals. I'm just trying to get people to like, to like think about the animals they eat, yeah. how they're no different to dogs because most people yeah. would be against the dog meat trade but they're paying for these horrible practices to happen to like pigs and cows and chickens. Yeah. And you know how I said like the people who buy the dog meat are paying for it to happen? Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
same analogy applies. Does that, how does that make you feel? Like, I just explained to you the pork industry in the UK. It was nothing to do with dogs. Yeah. Do you still feel bad about it? Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Well, I don't really like that much meat. I only really eat chicken, yeah. so... Yeah. It's just as bad, but I guess it's different because... We pe- don't see pigs People as see pets. dogs as pets, yeah. yeah. So people have different views on yeah. it. But, you know, inside the pig's eyes and inside the dog's eyes, they, prob- they both suffer the same, yeah? Yeah. No, just as bad. And, 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 and the bird's eyes as well, the, the, the chickens, they, they get put in fact, like most chickens here are factory farmed, like over 90% and over 90% of pigs are factory farmed here. So they're all suffering. And, you know, like you said, you would oppose someone paying for that to happen in the, uh, the dog meat industry. Mm-hmm. What about like, would you oppose someone paying for these industries that harm these other animals as well? Yeah. I think it's just disgusting, whatever animal it is. Yeah. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, we're animals. Yeah. Like if we were born in different circumstances, it sounds dumb, but if humans were like pigs, for example, yeah. we wouldn't want this to happen to us. Yeah. So if it was a dog, you would you would oppose it. If it's a pig, I mean, I'm still opposed to it. I still feel like you know, free range is the way to go. You know what I mean? But yeah. free range pigs are also gas chambered and that, yeah. Are they? Yeah. Is it? So it's, are you sure? Eighty six percent of all pigs in the UK and Wales are killed in gas chambers. Oh. That. <laughs> I mean, I rescued my chickens from battery farming, so I, I <laughs> completely think it's disgusting. And so you don't eat you don't eat any any animals then? I do. <laughs> you do. <laughs> so you basically are you do you are you a meat eater by any chance? I barely eat meat. Like barely? I'm really cutting it down. You're really cutting yeah, it down. Yeah, that's, we've been trying to. Yeah. We've been trying to, <laughs> yeah. to eat a lot less. But yeah. is that is that shocking to like be unapologetically opposed to something? Like if I was eating dogs, you'd be like you wouldn't be polite to me about it. No. But like all these other animals that people eat, this is why we're trying to reach people, all these other animals people eat. If I was unpolite to say you were eating bacon and I was like, look, you're causing this cruelty, stop it. And you'd be like, that was a bit, that was a bit rude. But like, do you see how there's like a double standard a little bit? And it's not even about being vegetarian. It's just about treating them better. Treating them better? Yeah. So if we treat the dogs better, it's okay to kill them for their flesh if we have like a vegan option. Yeah, if you're a vegan. vegan. Yeah, I'm a vegan, so I don't use any animal products because all of these industries, See, dairy, I eggs. No, I respect vegans a lot, yeah. yeah. I couldn't do it, but. I, well, my mum wouldn't be vegetarian, so she'd have to cook separate meals and things. Separate meals, so it would be. I guess I could do it when I'm older. The only reason I still eat meat is because, like, my dad, I live with him, yeah, so he no, forces yeah, it. It's a bit difficult, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and it's so, like, it's everywhere, it's all around us, isn't it? What if your mum was putting dog meat in the meals at home? Would you say, mum, I don't want to eat the dog meat? Yes. My so dog- you would, you'd protest, wouldn't you? Yes. Yeah. So I would protest yeah. if someone was like putting pig meat in my food as well. Yes. Or chicken yeah. meat or... Yeah. Yeah. But if there was dog, let's just say you're living with your dad and he was feeding dogs, yeah. would, you, would you be like, no dad, I'm not, not eating, it's bad? Well, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so, so it's the same, same thing. thing really. yeah, yeah. Yeah. So would you still pay for dog meat? I mean, pig meat? <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, maybe I might not buy as much, but... Okay. I think about going vegetarian. Don't I, I say it all the yes, time, but I just, do. I just, I can't you, do it. If I just said, "Hey, this sausage has got dogs in there that were tortured," you would, you would say, "No, I'm not eating that." Yeah. But if it was pigs, I say, "Hey, this is just a hot dog here." You'd be like, "I oh, know, worries, he cares." Too hard to go vegan. I don't. Mm, you know, I don't have this big double standard for dogs and pigs, and they both suffer the same. Yeah, but I feel yeah. like just because dogs are pets, and not as many people have pigs as pets, it's a bit. People are more people. Yeah, but yeah. I, people are more sensitive to getting dogs treated badly yeah. than Aren't pigs. Cows and pigs. Yeah. But they both they both suffer. It's just as bad to hurt a pig as it is to hurt a dog, and, yeah, and through the animal's eyes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, we should just treat them all equally, yeah, and just leave them alone. If we can have plants instead, eat plants and not use animals, do you think that's the better way? I feel like, because I don't know if for everything we have a vegan option for it, but I know like for eggs, for example. Sorry, for eggs, right. for example. They, um, some eggs, they treat the chickens like better and you just get the eggs. I would still eat meat, but I want it all to be, have a nice life. Treated fairly. Treated fairly, big, not, not even in pens. Yeah, it depends what you mean, like free range eggs, organic eggs. For example, yeah. Yeah. But if you're going to kill the animal in the end, I feel like people just, like small, small changes works, like it helps, yeah. You know, they kill all the egg laying hens in the free range organic egg industry and they, they also, yeah, they kill all the hens and when their egg because their egg production will become slower and less profitable so they they send them up to the slaughterhouse and also they never use the males in the egg industry mm-hmm. so they hatch females and males and then they separate the males out and then they put them in a macerator it's yeah. like a big blender so they get they kill the males on their first day of life and this is across the board in the egg wow. industry okay, we take some dogs they've been treated your dog treated nicely oh the whole God. life okay. <laughs> they've been treated nicely the whole life yeah i'm sure you're nice to your dog and we take them we just you know end them really quickly would that be okay no 
No. So why is She's it okay? <laughs> why is it okay for the other? Oh, well, let's just say your dog wasn't your pet. This just Do lived you know, in isolation no, no, no. from you. No, it's not okay. And and Ben's over there. If we couldn't eat right. meat, I wouldn't right. eat meat. But I just yeah. think yeah. it's very, very <laughs> difficult lifestyle. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people don't know this. Yeah, the information's yeah. there. How about I give you some information and then you can look at it and have yeah, a think about that's it. Fine. Thank you. I've got these little pamphlets because you're vegetarian, you don't eat pigs anyway, so it didn't really work for you. But would you be more upset if you heard about dogs being treated in the way that we... If I'm honest, yeah, I would be. Yeah. Yeah. But like, you wouldn't eat a dog no matter what, even if they had a nice life, would you? And yeah, I, and I bulk, you wouldn't. It's so. more just the thought of eating a dog. Just, just, yeah, so you've been conditioned to eat certain animals. So yeah. here's... Here's some info. I don't know. Don't really that hard to react. Yeah. Kind of pull the sneaker on me there. Yeah. yeah. It's interesting, no way, because I yeah, used to yeah. think of dogs like if I seen something happen to a dog, yeah, yeah. I'd run in to help them. But I was eating all these other animals, and it, I never thought of it like in the context of dogs. Yeah. How much more I'd, I'd oppose it. Um, but do you think this is a good way of getting people to think about the different species of animals? Yeah. yeah. Everyone sees dogs as all these cute things. Yeah. So the other animals are just yeah. Yeah. This is for you. And actually, um. The dairy industry and egg industries are really no better. No, just bad, They're just yeah. as horrific because they forcibly impregnate the cows and take their calves away and then kill the cows. If we did that to the dogs, here you go. Thank you. Challenge 22. Yeah, I've been trying. I've done stuff like drinking oat milk instead of normal yeah. milk. So like oh yeah, it's good. Stuff, really good. Yeah, I've been gradually trying to cut things out. And, yeah, I've got seen that. Something to think about anyway. Yeah. <laughs> you look a bit stunned. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, all of those practices you can look up as well. Um, if you look at this film, this is Land of Hope and Glory. It'll tell you all about the egg industry, the dairy industry, the, what I explained to you about the pigs. Yeah. It's all in here, so this is like an expose film. It's quite new to it, it's about 2016, I think. But And here we've got, um, this is called Land of Hope and Glory. Mm -hmm. It exposes all the industries in the UK. You think? I feel like I like pigs, they're cute. I like pigs too. Yeah. <laughs> Nice talking to you, thank you. She thought it was all bad anyway. Some people, like I guess the best person for it would be someone who thinks eating pigs is morally acceptable, you know, but she seemed like she didn't want it to happen to pigs or dogs. But yeah. Anyway, she's got some information. I appreciate it. You actually gave me one of the best interviews today. Really? We, we understand, but it is it would be difficult just to change just it Just because I've grown up. I've already asked my mum if I can get vegetarian. I genuinely do. I, I think about it all, I, all Not the necessarily time. vegan. I don't like sausages. Um, no, you wouldn't ask her Ill. to stop killing and feeding your dogs, like, would you? You wouldn't ask you to tell her. you say, I'm not eating dogs, yeah. it's cruel. Yeah. yeah. So but why, she, just, like, she just said no. I understand. She just makes meals. Cruel. We get our meat from a butcher's, which is all, like, locally sourced. Um, so you know which farm it's coming from. I've been to one of the farms where my cows meat come, she, milk comes she did from. She's experience with cows. Yeah. yeah but you, have you been sure to the slaughterhouse that they're slaughtered in? No, I sent some off to go yeah. to slaughter. Yeah, so, <laughs> so, so you think, like, think about it. No, that sounds terrific. I cried. Honestly, I am like so yeah. animal cruelty against she wants it. To be a vet. I, yeah. I will. I will. You want to help vet. animals, but you're actually paying yeah. for them to be tortured and killed. Okay. <laughs> It only makes sense that you'd be yeah. vegan, like that's yeah. all. And it's probably not as hard a lifestyle change as you think, like... I know, I, un I understand what you're saying, I yeah. do, I get like it. Like, you, you guys would probably cringe at the side of slaughterhouse footage, I know you would. Like, if I showed it to you right now, you'd probably be like, that's awful, I don't want to eat that. I've seen videos on, God. like, Instagram of, like, cows yeah. that yeah. Like, are awfully treated, and it's horrible. Yeah, because... You see these ones in California where they're, like, their calves are, like, tied up and yeah. things like that. The UK ain't no better, like, I've, we've been exposing the UK for... A while now, like they're just gas chambers. Like eighty-six percent of pigs are killed in gas chambers here yeah, in right. England and Wales. Like it's horrible footage as well. Like, yeah. If they, yeah. But anyway, trying to help people make the connection to different species yeah. of animals and. Yeah. 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 Anyways, challenge twenty-two is on the front. So. Cool. Thanks okay. for the interview. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye bye. Okay, I think we can call it a day now. Some very interesting reactions and uh, very interesting when you replace a pig with a dog or a cow with a dog treat them exactly the same as the UK, Australia or America, Europe, treat their farmed animals. Just put a dog in there and see how people react. It's very interesting. Put a dog in a slaughterhouse and see how people react. Um, yeah, so hopefully people can just make the connection and be vegan and be consistent.